After 43 years of not knowing who killed her baby sister. I hope Satan greets him at the gate and they were out in hell. A Yuba County woman is sharing her relief after a judge sentenced the men responsible to life in prison this week. She broke her silence to CBS 13 today. Doris Derryberry and Valerie Lane were brutally murdered. They were just 12 and 13 years old. New DNA testing led to the arrest of the suspects, and CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw has been following the story. She sat down with the family today in an interview you'll see only on CBS 13. Jennifer? Sam and Christina, this story really shook the community. Many people pointing fingers at one another. But finally, this family has an answer they've been looking so desperately to find. But still, they say they don't have closure. It's just, it's something you never get over. Looking back at her 13 year old sister, Shirley Derryberry couldn't hold back tears. Makes me sad. Lives taken too soon. 13 year old Doris Derryberry and 12 year old Valerie Lane were last seen at the Linda Mall. The next day, their bodies found in a field. For 43 years, their families left wondering who did it. Haunted us without us knowing and tormented the community. Somewhere in this little community is a murderer. 65 year old cousins, Larry Don Patterson and William Lloyd Harbor, were charged with rape and murder. Both were 22 at the time of the killings and lived just around the corner. And as I said, her, I can tell you now that she gave them hell out there on that riverbank. Because <laughs> that's how she was. The cousins were sentenced to life in prison, one pleading guilty and the other no contest. Then during the sentencing, Patterson asked to withdraw his plea. I wanted to climb across the wall yesterday and choke him. But then that puts me in the same category they're in. When the life is gone out of them, I'll have closure. Shirley says her parents died never knowing who killed Doris. It always left them wondering the woman she would have become. She'll always be in my heart. And because this happened back in 1973, the cousins were only sentenced to life in prison. He'll be, they will both be eligible for parole every four years, only furthering this tough situation this family has been put through. For a long, long time. Mm -hmm. All right, Jennifer, thank you very much for that tonight.